I'm going to be honest with you. I thought they shut down this coffee brand. That's it. That's my intro. Hey, I'm Amanda, you're watching Swell Entertainment and I'm recording this video super early. So the lighting is going to be annoying as hell. And obviously I'm not in my usual filming area, but that's because I am making coffee to review Cremota coffee from Zane and Heath of the vlog squad. Cool. Well, like I said in the opening, I really did think that they had discontinued this brand, okay? Because they launched it at the end of 2020. A lot of you asked me to review it at the time because I had reviewed Chamberlain coffee and things like that. And they had sold out within the first day, I believe. And I was just like, oh, okay, I'll get to it eventually. And then I heard nothing nothing about the brand for a year and a half now. So now it's 2022 and I am reviewing this now because I do follow Zayn Hijazi on Instagram and he posted this photo, which did make me laugh, but also made me realize that um, he does in fact still run Cremota Coffee. The reason it's called Cremota Coffee is because of an ongoing joke from their vines and also just their videos uh, on YouTube, Zane and Heath. They, like I said, were part of the vlog squad. I think they are still part of the vlog squad if the vlog squad does even still exist at this point, but I don't think either of them still make YouTube videos. I think they just do their podcast, which is Zane and Heath Unfiltered, and then they have Cremota. I think that's it. This is my puppy Hermes. He will not be drinking any Kimroda coffee, but he's annoyed because his pen that he plays in sometimes that he sleeps in and stuff, yeah, 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 is where I have my camera and computer set up so he can't get to the courts. So he's annoyed. But yes, so I'm gonna be reviewing all the coffee flavors rather than buying all their ground coffees. Cause that's the thing with these coffee brands is I do drink all the coffee eventually. Even if I don't like the coffee, I don't like wasting it. And if it's ground coffee, it only stays good for so long. So this time around, they did have ground coffee bags, but it was also way more. So I decided to go ahead and do the coffee pod assortment sampler, because then that way it's easier for me to one, try everything. I don't have to deal with packing everything up. It's not yours. He wants the box. That's what he wants. He doesn't want the coffee. He wants the box. And so this way I can review all the flavors and probably make a sizable dent in this box. I will say this box is already opened. I have not tried any yet, I'm gonna do that now. It's not for you. The reason this box is opened is because my dad crashed here the other night and he hates my coffee because I like French vanilla slash hazelnut coffees because I like joy and um, he hates that. So he wanted something that was non-flavored of anything. And so the house blend from this box, which is a medium roast, is the only one that I had in this house at the time. Every time I say house, people think I own several properties. This is my apartment. So we cracked open this box because the house blend from this assorted box was the only non-flavored coffee that I had in my apartment. My father had, I think three, two or three cups of the house blend while he was here. And uh, he gave it a glowing endorsement. He was like, oh my God, this is so good. So it's Papa Swell approved, at least the house blend. I'm gonna try everything out and we're gonna see. So we have the house, the cinnamon French toast, sweet butter hazelnut, and Tahitian vanilla. All of these are medium roast, and they're all from Arabica beans. And they had mugs on their website. I was gonna buy one for my mug collection, but they were sold out at the time of me ordering. So I got their travel mug, so I guess I'm reviewing that at the same time. It's the Cremota travel mug. It's just a matte black. There's no sealant on the lid. It's just the whole kind. Hang on, let me see if you can show you. See that? Just the whole. So I can't do a drip test on this because it will drip. That's just what'll happen because it's open. Start with the house blend to kick it all off. Oh, it smells really good. Okay, this could be good. Wait. <laughs> okay. It's very hot. I'm gonna burn my mouth, aren't I? Yep, one second. So this is the test to see, not if it drips everywhere, because the, the answer is yes, probably, so. It's still really hot. For the first sip, I thought it was bland, and then I realized it was because my tongue hurt. <laughs> Off to a solid start with this review, you guys. So I will say, staying nice and cool on the outside, so that's good. It's not like already transferring and burning my hands. It's got a bit of a bite to it, not a lot, just the normal amount, I would say, for this type of coffee. That was hot. That, that, ow. I've made so many of these videos. I've literally worked 
as a barista. I don't know what just happened. Like it like came out and then overflowed and then burned my top lip. Anyway, we're done with that cup. It's not like super sweet or anything, but again, it's just a house blend. Tastes good. Got it. Like I said, the bite to it. It's a medium roast. Tastes like a medium. It's not too dark. It's not light. I feel like wearing white for this video is going to be a poor mistake that I made. Anyway, let's move on. We shall do my Almond Blossoms Van Gogh Almond Blossoms mug. Thank you. I kind of want to do the cinnamon French toast because that sounds like it's going to be good. Okay, so that's cinnamon French toast. That's next. Believe it or not, this one doesn't smell as good. See, previously I've had the cinnamon roll, not from, was it Dunkin' Donuts? No, from Cinnabon. I had the cinnamon, like the Cinnabon coffee that, or that tasted or was supposed to taste like Cinnabons. And the coffee itself was not very good, but it smelt amazing, okay? We're not gonna burn my tongue again. We're just gonna let this sit for a moment. It's so all I really smell is the cinnamon, which isn't bad, because I think cinnamon coffee, or cinnamon, the cinnamon essence and coffee, wow, um, can be very good. That wasn't even the right word. It's been almost a year. <laughs> God, when did I leave my job? It's been over a year, year and a half. Ooh, you really get the cinnamon in your mouth. That's nice. It's not like spicy. It's just like, God, it's like French toast. Yeah, it's like when you, it's not like on my tongue. It's like in like the roof of my mouth and the back of my mouth is where I'm feeling it and tasting it. I will still say it smells better than it tastes. And that's not a bad thing. I'm not saying that it tastes bad. I just always find that when it's things like this, the smell is just way better than the taste itself. But that doesn't mean that the taste is not good. It just means that the smell, it's more aromatic then it is full of flavor. Do I sound like I know what I'm talking about? Cause I should at this point. I do like that, like it's like a hint of cinnamon. It's very nice. That one's good. Okay, we're gonna wait a little bit and do the next one. Let's do my Mothman Believes in You mug. There we go. I think Mothman likes vanilla. So we're gonna do Tahitian vanilla next. Ooh, okay. See now that I've had the other one, this one has more flavor to it. It's not like a different flavor. Just you get more of like a fuller body, which, yeah. It's also cooled down a bit so I can taste more. And as it's been sitting here, the cup is still not hot. So that's good. It's very well insulated. Okay, let's go. Okay, let's see. Smell vanilla. Ooh, very vanilla. Very. <laughs> this one smells good though. Hang on. What can I compare this to for you? Okay, you know what these smell like? The... Full house is not the word. Oh my God, what are they called? Not toffee, the little candies that a lot of old people have. They're very good, but they're not vanilla flavored. I think they're caramel. I may not be a wine drinker, but let's see, I'm trying to. <laughs> I shall be a sommelier. <laughs> oh God. Yeah, it smells like those candies, but I can't remember the name of them. God damn it. It's not bad, ignore my face. I like the cinnamon toast one better. It's not bad, 100% not bad. Honestly, if I put almond milk in this, it'd probably taste better, but I'm not gonna do that right now. Remind me to eat a big breakfast after this, like always, because, oh my God, I'm drinking far too much coffee. And Hermes is gnawing on the back of my couch. What are you doing? What is this gangster shit? He's making eye contact as he gnaws on the back of my couch. What are you doing? This is my big baby. His whiskers are growing back. He's recovering from a dog bite that got infected, but he's all good now. But now he's just super lopsided in the beard department. It's not a bad aftertaste. It's that there's no aftertaste whatsoever. And I don't know how I feel about that. Yeah, see, this one's just better. But then again, I get the cinnamon in that. And I love vanilla. It's what I usually drink. This right here, look, this right here is French vanilla from Dunkin' Donuts, mainly because that was the only one that the store had at the time. Should we just move on to the hazelnut? The sweet butter hazelnut. I don't know how I'm gonna feel about that. Should I do espresso yourself or the Christmas gift that my dad was very proud of, which is my Deadpool nerded since the 90s. Cause I'm a 90s baby. Wow, this is staying really warm. Just saying. Okay, hazelnut. Wow, my head hurts. My tolerance is so low now. I've been sleeping very well, so I've been trying to cap back on my caffeine. And of course I did that the week leading up to filming this video. So I'm just overloading my system with coffee right now. I'm sweating, I feel it. You ever feel that? Like when you're about to start pouring sweat? That's fun. Okay, very little smell here. I feel insane. I have to film another video after this and I'm gonna be vibrating in my seat yelling about silly bands, fun. And just so you guys know, I'm putting a little bit of splash of water in this to cool it down, but it's just like pure water. I'm not adding milk or anything. 
See, there's the hazelnut. It's in the flavor. It's just not in the smell. Yeah, I'm drinking too much coffee. I'm getting nauseous. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, all in all, I like the cinnamon French toast one the best. Yeah, the cinnamon French toast one, hands down the best. That was this cup. This cup is well enough. It stayed cool. Like I said, it's been sitting here. The bottom's not hot. The sides aren't hot. The top is a little warm, like the rim around. That's just because the plastic itself is very thin, I'm assuming. And yeah, it's not a secure lid because again, it's not closed. So it's not that it's dripping. It's that it's physical. There's no closed, like, Drink spout. Oh my God, now it's really hot in here. It's like 72 degrees in my apartment right now, which is cold for my apartment because my apartment, I have a big window, it gets hot in here. So like, that's just what it says on the thermostat. I know that's not what it actually is in here, but oh my God, I'm sweating. <laughs> it was $35.99 for all of this. And that's for 40 cups of coffee. So that's pretty good. So about 89 cents per cup of coffee, which is fairly good, I think, considering, I think I've done math on other coffee companies before. And at least with Chamberlain coffee, I think it came to about $1.75 or $2 per cup of coffee based on what they were giving me for at least the coffee packets originally. I don't know about the current iteration of Chamberlain coffee with the rebrand and all of that or the rebrand from 2020 because it's been a while. I mean, the marketing was funny. I liked the uh, the Naked Zane photo was funny. Yeah, see, I think you guys need to step up your game with your advertising. I mean, I don't know how often you guys advertise on your podcast, but at least on your Instagram, other than the Valentine's Day discount, you have another one from January 1st, one from the 25th, a lot more in November. You guys were clearly doing something in November. If you guys have 80,000 followers on that page, I think you could be doing way more advertising for your coffee brand there. Anyways, I think this is a fairly good coffee brand. Obviously they're still doing it. These companies that these influencers start up, sometimes they just kind of abandon them. It does seem like they've stuck with it. So that's good. And they've done some various things. I mean, hey, you could, do the sellout and then the sellout of the launch and then, you know, let it dwindle and die. But they didn't do that. It looks like they've been keeping it up. So that's good. Right off the bat, the bare minimum. They didn't make the company go defunct. The bare minimum. They're doing good. Yeah. <laughs> that's what it sounds like. Wow, my brain hurts. I do still think that the cinnamon French toast was the best just because the flavor wise, the house coffee is a good neutral brand. And like I said, Papa Swell approved. He loved it, but again, he didn't try the other ones, but he just, uh, he loved it, he had three cups of it. Compared to the others, see, I gotta say the Tahitian vanilla, I think it's the least out of the four because I don't know, the flavor, the smell was there, but it wasn't great. And then the flavor just wasn't doing it for me. I don't know what it was. Oh, for the price for the travel mug, let me pull it up for you. $24.99 for the tumbler. I got it in black. Is that only in black? Yeah. And then they had the mug in black and white, both of which are sold out, which I would have gotten for my mug collection. Every time I do a video about a Vlog Squad product or something like that, like I did this with the Jonas Kebabs video, I feel the need to kind of comment on the rest of what's happening with the vlog squad. And I don't think that's necessarily fair because I always say like, hey, I don't think it's a smart idea to link your entire social media presence and online existence and or companies to one person or one group when you're in this space that is so dependent on personality and public opinion. And I do think that this is maybe Zane and Heath's attempt to separate themselves from David or the vlog squad in general. I mean, I think that everything you can do with that is the smartest. So I'm not gonna weigh in on the rest of the stuff that's happening with the vlog squad, not the point of this video. So yeah, all in all, good for you guys for, you know, keeping the coffee brand going and you guys seem to, I don't know, I think you should promote it more, but I mean, hey, that one photo shoot's fun. And I don't know if you guys are promoting it on your podcast all because I'm just not listening to your podcast other than the random clips that show up on my TikTok page. I really wanted to like the Tahitian vanilla. I don't know why I don't like it. It's just, it doesn't taste right. It doesn't taste good. That's gonna be it. Um, have you tried Promota coffee? Suck. Sorry, I just turned on my dishwasher. I know I'm super lucky living in LA. I have a dishwasher. <laughs> Anyway, <laughs> have you tried Cremota coffee? Do you, are you a fan of Zane and Heath? Are you a fan of the vlog squad, whether current or formerly? Do you like me also think that the company had just gone defunct and they abandoned it? Let me know, comment down below. Reminder, I have a podcast, The Swell Shenanigans Podcast, new episodes every Wednesday. Reminder, I have merch, all of that will be linked down below. Shout out to my patrons. Thank you so much for supporting me on Patreon. If you'd also like to follow me on Patreon, I'll be listed down below. Like to follow me on all my social media. That'll be all up here. And that's going to be it. Have a lovely day. Goodbye. My hands feel weird. I need to eat solid food.
Thank you, Audrey, Allen, Cameron, Christopher, Chris, Cody, Colton, Crash, PC, China, Devin, Dirty One, Don, Elliot, Evan, Beckles, Hopeless, Hollowed, Incognito, Jack, Ray, Joe, John, L, Jordan, Joseph, Kenny, Kevin, Kim, Chris, Lamb, Lex, Lisa, Luis, Matt, Matt, O, Matthew S, Me, Lord, Michael, Michael, J, Micah, Nathaniel, Nathan, Pat, Penn, Richard, Rob, Robert, Red, Ross, Sam, Serena, Skylar, Simon, Tosh, Timmy, Tom, Wendy, William, Winters, Andrews, Wink.